The condition of aphasia strikes at the core of being a person, our ability to communicate. Imagine if you couldn't talk to your children or spouse, read the morning newspaper, send a text to a friend, or order a cup of coffee at the local coffee shop. How much of today did you spend either talking, listening, reading, or writing? What would your life be like tomorrow if you suddenly couldn't communicate? Aphasia alters life profoundly and calls for a holistic intervention approach that returns the stroke survivor to living his or her life to its fullest potential. This holistic intervention model is called the Life Participation Approach to Aphasia. It has changed the way I practice speech-language pathology and it has helped thousands of people who are currently living with aphasia. And with your assistance, it can help thousands more. When I first started practicing speech-language pathology more than 30 years ago, I was taught an approach that focused on a medical model of healthcare. This medical model considered a person with aphasia as someone who was ill, needing the care of healthcare experts to fix or cure their condition. However, cure is not always possible for people with aphasia. Even with excellent therapy, people with aphasia may be left with significant language impairment due to the size and location of the stroke in their brain. When I practiced under the medical model of healthcare, I found that the people I worked with could often gain some success in communicating with me in the therapy room but they were typically unable to use these therapy gains where and when they needed it most, at home with their family members or with others in their social circles or in the wider community. And after therapy ended, these people with aphasia often became isolated and withdrawn. I felt that I had failed as a therapist and my patients with aphasia felt as though they had failed as well. My success as a therapist changed when I embraced a social model of healthcare. A social model sees communication access for people with aphasia as being the responsibility of everyone, the person with aphasia, family members, healthcare workers, and community, businesses, and organizations. People with aphasia are seen as important experts about their condition and take the lead in deciding what they want to communicate and who they want to communicate with. The speech language pathologist is the coach who figures out the best way to achieve their individual meaningful goals. And just like a wheelchair ramp is designed to offer people with physical challenges access to healthcare, businesses, and life in general, communication access is essential for people trying to navigate life with aphasia. Everyone becomes a critical partner by making their homes, businesses, and services accessible for communication. Participating in activities of one's choosing is at the core to well-being. The life participation approach to aphasia provides a framework for all healthcare professionals to work on meaningful communication changes by creating communication access at all levels of healthcare. And a life participation approach to aphasia is concerned with providing each person with aphasia communication access and choice at each step of their return to community life. The life participation approach begins the moment paramedics or emergency personnel answer that 911 call. It is a nurse having the aphasia friendly tools he or she needs so that each patient can ask for help. The life participation approach means providing informed consent in the hospital in a way that someone with a communication barrier has the best chance of understanding and responding. This approach also means choosing meaningful goals in the rehabilitation center. Speech language pathologists and other healthcare workers have a critically important role in utilizing aphasia friendly tools to mentor families and individuals in communication techniques so all can prepare for ongoing life with aphasia. And importantly, 
The life participation approach is about assisting people with aphasia in re-engaging in activities of choice for the rest of their lives. With this model of service, the coffee shop will have an aphasia-friendly, picture-based menu. Not only will this help people with aphasia, it will also help non-English speakers and all people who know more than they can say. Changing outcomes for people with aphasia depends on each of us. Speech-language pathologists may deliver the specific treatments to improve communication skills, but people with aphasia depend on a broad continuum of people who step up, gaining the knowledge and training they need to adapt everyday environments within their sphere of influence. This is why the life participation approach to aphasia is so exciting to me. People with aphasia don't have to be isolated and withdrawn. Instead, they can get back to their lives and re-engage in the world all around them. I hope you will join me and others in creating a world where all people with aphasia participate fully in life.